Hello everyone. This session we will talk about data exploration. In this first video, I will give some description on what you do in data exploration. And there will also be some following videos that will give you some tools uh, to use for data exploration. So let's continue. Remember about this data? which could make Sehun and Lisa uninterested with you if you show the data originally as it is unprocessed. You have learned skills to extract the central measurement and data dispersion and converting your data into table and chart. The mean, median, modes, variance, standard deviation are information you extract from your data. Presenting them into Tables, charts are various ways to present your data so it would be more interesting and having more information that are easier to grasp. So what do you do in data exploration? For example, you are interested in uh, knowing the tourism industry in Indonesia. Then you go to BPS and then there's this um, data about the average length of stay of tourism in hotels in Indonesia by province. Um, to know, to understand your data is data exploration. What does understanding here means is that you are trying to understand, you are trying to know, you are trying to look at the information you have and finding out what can you conclude from this uh, data? What, what information can you convey to your readers or even what information can you get from this data? Uh, so the first thing you do is you try to look first. Okay, the first thing is you know that this is the average length of stay. The second thing you see here that uh, you have data by province, per province and also for Indonesia uh, as a whole. And then you have years. So you have 27, 18, and 19. This uh, other category that you know uh, you have is that uh, the it is categorized by types of um, tourists. You have foreign tourists, and then you have domestic tourists, and then you have them in combined. So based on those information, you can try to make some question for example the question that i make uh, based on uh, my exploration is i can try to find the average period of stay based on category of tourist uh, based on foreigner based on domestic tourists and in combined or i can find uh, informations about the average uh, length per province over years um, and then what province has the highest or longest average? Or I can also ask, what does the bottom row Indonesia number tell us? To answer these questions, what I can do is I can do data summarizing. I can make tables. I can make chart. The skills that you have learned for the first uh, two sessions. And this is the result that I did based on my data exploration. I did some countings on uh, data, uh, I, I, uh, this data summary, yeah. I find the mean, the median mode, and so on. But I only did it for 2019. I can also probably do for uh, each year 17 and 18, and then do some comparison based on the uh, statistic measurements. And then I tried to make a chart on five provinces with the longest average stay and then five provinces with the shortest stay. Uh, and based on these um, chart, I can try to make some analysis. Why are this province with the longest stay? Why are this province with the shortest stay? If I want to increase uh, the stay, what should I do? So those are what you can do based on your data summary. And to do this data summary, uh, you do data exploration. 